I've already discussed if it comes from the iliac crest, lower rib, and the transverse processes of the lumbar spine. If the patient's able to, Sarah, can you slowly rotate? Let's just try this way. Well, keep your legs there. What about going into an arch? If you go into an anterior, I said, now go the other way. So that's an anterior tilt, and then if you go the other way, then it's a posterior tilt. Because the quadratus will be responsible for extending the spine. So if you go in, into, what, what position is that now? So she's in ex extension now. And then if you ask her to go the other way, now you're gonna lengthen it. Have you had to start with the uh, lumbar in a lordotic position? Now, if you think about how we can get to it, this is the erector spine right here, so it's hard to get to quadratus, because quadratus is sort of in this sort of area here and is hidden away. So to get to it, we almost want to, this is one technique, if you're, if you're looking at my fingertips and I'm sitting, because it's quite a nice relaxed way. If I ask you to, to slowly, or maybe go as far as you can in one, that's it, and then slowly go the other way, slowly, slowly, and then she'll be okay, but as I come around into that sort of like gully area, then you are going to probably perceive I'm hitting a sort of edge of a rib there. So I'm going to change the angle and come across that sort of crest. But if you notice what I did, I continued the movement in one go. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? It's something that I don't tend to do very often because I tend to, to do the normal technique what I'm showing you. So I get them to go as far as they can, which we're not far off about there. Then ease off. So go back to where you started from. Then you reapply the pressure, but I'm right on the edge of a QL. So sometimes by me pushing in, can be a little tender. That's why sometimes I almost glide through. Are you okay with this? Mm -hmm. Are you aware of it? Okay. Yeah. So as my patient is coming around, so I'm almost doing it a couple of times in terms of this rotation. So you can start from the sort of lower lumbar sacral coming round, but you can also come from the sort of rib. You can see how red she's going. So again, if you arch your back, and then you're gonna come in from the rib. So I'm gonna to try to come onto the lower rib area but I'm gonna come in, so I'm gonna come around, and I normally would worm my finger around, not quite on the crest, but I'm right on the edge of the QL where I can feel it. And then let's ease off a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna to drop back a little bit, so I'm gonna come in. Sometimes I even, depending on the patient, some people with the crest and the ribs, it is actually quite close. So it's not as easy as what you'd anticipate to get in. So I'd almost reinforce the finger. In this case, I'd be okay, because I'm all, I'm almost angling three fingers into a rotation. So I'm gonna come around, off you go again. So I'm gonna come around there. And if it is a trigger point, which it normally is around my finger, I would normally just hold that. And you do like a neuromuscular technique on that. So like an ischemic pressure, you might hold it. It might feel a, a perceived referral pain around. And then rotate again, please. And so we can continue from a trigger point to then follow it around there. Think about what else we can use to emphasize motion here. So yes, we can start with the pelvic in our tilt position, and then if the patient's able to, we can use the arm as a lever. So if they're able to rotate the pelvis and abduct their arm, you're opening the iliac crest from above as well as encouraging rotation from below. Only thing is, it's, it's a two method process, and unfortunately, some of us men might struggle with this. Um, Let's be honest, I'd struggle. What do you want me to do again? So with your arm, she's large, she's giggling. Okay, mm -hmm. off you go. So she's trying to open whilst the pelvis is in a position of posterior rotation. And that seems to work quite well to open. You can also do the same technique from there. And I quite like this one, I'll probably prefer this one. Bring your leg back, hold your leg in that position. Just hold it, hold it, hold it. <clears throat> so you get your patient to hold if they can, even though if you've got an obvious weakened gluteus, it's gonna lower down. Now, after 10 seconds, take a breath in, please. And then slowly, as slow as you can, lower, I'm almost stopping my patient falling, lower the right leg off the couch. Okay, so my patient is almost like, a, like an eccentric lowering. So the muscle of the QL is working eccentrically as well as the, the glutei. So it's an MET approach. You okay with this? Yeah. It's a little awkward, depending. But uh, you can see she's lowering, she's actually extending as well, which I think would be, you have to be a little careful in extension because it actually shortens the QL rather than allows it to, to lengthen. Watch this one. All right, hold your, hold your leg again. So the first one is MET, which is a PIR technique. So my patient's holding. Take a breath in. Now, if I, if I control, let me take the weight of the leg. The, the weight of Sarah's leg is fine. If I got a 20 strong rugby player, it'd be, it'd be hard. And 
If I still don't feel the tissue giving, even though I'm lowering my patient's legs, it's sort of like a passive technique. If I ask my patient to slowly push gent down into my hand gently, now suddenly my fingers are allowed in. Because as my patient is pushing down, what, what happens to my fingers now? What's happened to the QL? It is relaxing through, through. Lengthening. It's not lengthening as such. It's lengthening in a different way. It's becoming inhibited. So it's an RI technique. So it's working slightly different to maybe what you would perceive. Watch out and again. So if I just simply come on and then get them to push their leg down, push your leg down against my hands. Now it softens, allows me in, so I can almost passively lengthen it whilst my patient is through in a state of inhibition. Okay? And that one works quite nice to lower it. And you can see I'm almost pulling her leg down as she's doing that technique, bend at me. Okay, and that's uh, quite a nice way of treating the quadratus lumbar. All right. How long was that?